Rural residents are among the underserved populations in Illinois when it comes to access to health care. 23 News reporter Anthony Ferretti talks with rural health leaders about the progress Illinois has made to shrink the gap. As somebody from downstate Illinois, it's very... I mean, that's a sentiment is that nobody's listening. Blaine Coloni is a second year med student at the University of Illinois College of Medicine in Rockford. He says making sure rural health care matches that of urban communities is an issue that hits close to home. I just want to build on um, that sense of community um, and really the opportunity um, for students who might not have, you know, the most privileged background and being immersed in a program that rewards them um, for the unique kind of upbringing. We actually get to go to rural sites and do some of these trainings, you know, in the communities that we talk about, that we learn about every single day. More than 400 students graduated from the University of Illinois College of Medicine's R Med program, most of which now work in rural communities. Students like Blaine and Bella Swan are among the next generation who will try to enhance health care options. We're just a few months away from being able to meet these individuals. Just kind of exciting. On Wednesday, the school honored those making a difference for rural patients. The Illinois Department of Public Health's director says those patients are the true experts they need in order to make a difference. Part of our focus is to better understand those deserts, think about innovative solutions, use our funding and resources to create connection, connection of community, but also connection of services. That's Anthony Ferretti reporting. Statistics show on average people who live in rural or smaller communities live three to seven years less than people who live in urban areas. The UIC College of Medicine has $100 million projects in the works to expand its facilities and programs that focus on rural health care, including dentistry and public health.